Model 3 gets another boost. We learn what the full self-driving preview is. Elon talks about the elusive MCU upgrade. And U.S. legislature extends the charging solution tax credit. This is Tesla Tibbetts episode number 562 for December 30th, 2019. This show is sponsored by my supporter, Richard. If you're in the market for a new Tesla, please consider using his referral code. Ask your salesperson to use code Richard174 or go direct to the web link ts.la slash Richard174 and pick up a 1,000-mile supercharging credit for your new vehicle. Back from the holiday break with a pile of stories for you, folks. Hope you and yours had a fantastic holiday season, and here's looking forward to the new year. We start this week with a very unexpected surprise. Santa Musk shipped an update to the fleet, unlocking the full self-driving preview that he mentioned earlier, which everyone wondered what exactly that was. As it turns out, for cars with the option, it enables all the visualizations related to full self-driving. And it was a bonanza of information. As with part B of this story, many outlets had the story, but Teslarati was the first I saw, so they get the credit for this part of the story. For the basics on this, stoplights, traffic signs, HOV lanes, bike lanes, temporary traffic control devices, and trash barrels are among the new visualizations appearing on the car status area. But on top of this, we see these things changing in real time on the display. The visualizations are even discreet enough to recognize arrow traffic lights versus standard traffic lights, and the color of the lights appears on the display as it changes. The sheer amount of what is being captured shows just how far along with full self-driving Tesla is and it's mesmerizing. Be aware, if you have the update but wonder why you're not seeing this awesomeness, you do have to enable the preview. Go to Settings, Autopilot, then toggle the slider for full self-driving visualization preview. Also, in what was to be the lead story before this visualization release, dozens of Twitter folks reported seeing a strange option in their accounts, and I give the Tesla show the credit for this one as the account that I saw it from first. They tweeted, quote, Tesla has released a $2,000 software update to boost the acceleration of dual motor Model 3. Improve your 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration from 4.4 seconds to 3.9 seconds with an over the air update. End quote. The update requires you to have accepted the 2019.40.2 software update before you can accept it, and it does only apply to Model 3 dual motor, so rear wheel drive owners need not apply. So if you have too large burning a hole in your pocket and you want to knock a half second off your 0-60 to time, head to your Tesla account on the web or open your Tesla app to claim your upgrade. Story number two today comes from Elon's Twitter feed, where we got some information on a long-rumored slash promised ability. Ever since the MCU 2 was a thing, and that's Media Control Unit 2 for those needing acronym help, those with older center screens have been asking if there was an upgrade path. Elon long ago alluded to this being a possibility, but no service center ever would perform the work or even quote it beyond quoting what a standard center screen replacement might cost. Elon, much to many folks' dismay, tweeted on the subject recently, quote, MCU, infotainment computer, upgrade not recommended in my opinion, isn't needed for full self-driving, and cost is about $2,000 for limited entertainment improvements, end quote. Eric from Tesla Inventory chimed in saying, quote, The issue I have is my MCU 1 slash AP 2.0 doesn't have YouTube or some of the games. No dash cam slash sentry mode. Any updates on that? Also, any update on upgrading MCU 1 slash AP 2.0 Model S to FSD computer? I paid for FSD three years ago and have been told by service FSD isn't possible on my car yet, end quote. Among the missing features for a newer car, the sentry mode sticks out as one that's truly a loss. While YouTube and games are nice, sentry mode has real utility in protecting the vehicle, and Elon responded on that, as well as the FSD computer upgrade, saying, quote, This is quite a thorny hardware problem, as there are many different versions of MCU and autopilot computer and supporting hardware. Cars last so much longer than phones. Hopefully able to upgrade MCU 1 and AP2 in a few months, end quote. So for those in Eric's hardware situation for FSD, there's a nice update from the horse's mouth. And we have indeed been seeing a few folks in the wild getting their V3 computer upgrades, so all those with the lesser hardware should be on the lookout for service appointments or potential surprises if you happen to be already having work done. For our last story tonight, we head over to Electrek, where we find that the U.S. legislature has retroactively extended an expired tax credit related to EVs. 
Through 2017, EV owners that installed charging infrastructure on their property could pick up a tax credit of 30% of the cost of their install up to $1,000. Or if you're installing for a two- or three-wheel vehicle, you can get a credit of 10% up to $2,500. As I mentioned, this was a retroactive credit as the credit had expired at the end of 2017. The passage of the legislation extends the credit to all installations in 2018 and through this year, as well as extending through the end of 2020. So hopefully, if you've installed charging infrastructure here in the U.S. in the last two years, you've saved your receipts and can pick up some extra cash in your pocket. Housekeeping now for this second of two holiday weeks. As I took last week off to celebrate the holidays, this week there will be no such rest. Expect a show Wednesday recapping my bold predictions for 2019, and a show Friday where I make my bold predictions for 2020, as well as any news that might pop up in the meantime. I'm not expecting much, but you never know with Tesla. That will do it for today's show. Thanks to all my patrons supporting the show at patreon.com slash Tesla Tidbits. And as always, a special shout out to all the super patrons supporting the show at the $10 plus level. They are Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dory and Steve Guberman, Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse, Adam Rammer Brown, Megawatt Photovoltaic Development, Todd Sullivan, Mitch Long, Zortec LED Canada, Morvin Og, Raymond and Deborah Malkowitz, T Sportline, Travis and Cheyenne Rush, Chris Hobus, Craig Murphy, Vicky Kirk, Ricky Johnston, Bien Concepcion, Nathan Garza, Paul Gona, Eb Patterman, and Sunil Joseph. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits and use the hashtag AskTeslaTidbits if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. So for this episode, all you folks out there that might have wondered what it sounds like when I'm recording this, you all are going to get a special sneak preview uh, slash freebie uh, as a my holiday gift to all of you folks. So if you just head over to the Patreon page that I mentioned before, uh, you will see that the Super Patron exclusive show will be available for everybody th- for this episode. So if you're curious, go have a look. Again, that is it for today's show. Until next time, keep it charged and hit the road.